Apple's iPhone has an excellent camera which shoots really great photos and videos. People have used a tripod, leaning the iPhone against something and then setting the timer to get the perfect shot. Today on Ellen's Tips for iOS, I'll show you how to remotely control your iPhone camera shutter to take photos and video completely hands-free. I'll be making use of the Apple Watch, voice control, Siri, and a Bluetooth remote shutter. If you find the video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. If you own an Apple Watch, you can use the watch as a remote shutter. You will not have all the features found in the camera app, but you can still do many things. So let me show you how it works. If I push in on the digital crown on my watch, which is the round button, it brings me into list view of my apps. I'm looking for an app called Camera Remote, which you can see. I'm going to tap on that to open. And when I do, the watch becomes a viewfinder for your photos. To change settings, all you need to do is tap on the More icon, which is the circle with three dots, and you'll have an option to use a timer. You can change the camera to front or rear. You can set up your flash, auto, on or off. You can set up live photos. You can set up your HDR. Then tap on done when you have your settings set. And then, just so you know, the digital crown can be used as a zoom as well. So if you're not happy with the zoom, you can go ahead and use the digital crown for that. And then once you have the photo set up the way you want it, all you need to do is tap on the shutter button on your watch and you have a great photo. For those of you who don't have an Apple Watch, we can use Siri, but first we have to configure a built-in Siri shortcut using the Shortcuts app. I'll walk you through the process and at the end, you'll just have to use the phrase, say cheese. So to set that up, you'll open your iPhone and I can see the shortcuts app right here, but if you can't, pull down and start typing in the phrase shortcuts and the shortcuts app will appear. Tap on that to open and come down along the lower edge and tap on gallery. And then start typing in say cheese and the shortcut say cheese will appear. Taking a photo by asking Siri. Tap on that shortcut and then add shortcut to the shortcuts app. Now come into my shortcuts and you'll see that say cheese is here. Let's tap on the three dots to configure the app. You want to allow access to your camera. Tap OK and you want to allow access to your photos and then tap OK. And when you're finished, tap on done. Now there's a little hitch in this app because if you come in to the photos app and say, hey Siri, nothing happens. Siri doesn't respond when you're inside the photos app. So what you want to do is come into the photos app and set up your shot and then make sure everything is set the way you want it and then come out of the photos app and just say, hey Siri, say cheese. And Siri has, the check mark has appeared and Siri has now taken that photo for you, although you can't see it. So the reason we're doing this is to be able to take photos remotely. If I come into the camera app, we'll see that Siri did indeed take that photo. You can also use voice control on the iPhone to take photos or videos. The volume up button can be used to take a photo or start a video while in the camera app. Now we just need to add voice control and say the command, turn up the volume, and the camera app will do the rest. Here's how to set that up. So you'll want to come into the settings app and scroll down until you see accessibility. Tap on that 
and look for voice control. Tap on that and toggle the switch on at the very top that says voice control. And you'll see a little blue microphone appear at the top left-hand corner. And now if I swipe out of the settings app and come into the camera app, frame my photo exactly how I want it and say the words, turn up the volume, you'll see that a photo was taken using voice control. You can also purchase a Bluetooth remote shutter on Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive and work pretty well. Simply connect it to your iPhone over Bluetooth, and to do that, just open the settings, and I'm gonna come back to the main settings area, and then pull down on the screen and find Bluetooth. Tap on Bluetooth, and you'll see that it begins to search for other devices. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on this Bluetooth remote shutter, and you'll see the little blue light begin to flash. And you'll see in a second that under other devices, it will pop up once it's located. And it looks like it's been located, and so it should pop up. And there it is. Give it a second. It says keyboard, which it is not. And there it is, AB shutter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose AB shutter. And now, you'll see it appear up under My Devices once it connects. And so now if I swipe out of here and I come back into the camera app and I tap on the button that says Camera 360 iOS, you'll see that it just has taken a photo. So these Bluetooth shutters are really great little tools to have in your bag if you need to take a remote picture. As you can see, there are many ways to take photos and videos hands-free. These tips will help you get the best shot. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.